Will you look at that old railroad bridge? So peaceful here. I'm on the shores of the Black Warrior River. Geez, I wish I had a fishing pole. I'd pull it out and I'd try to catch some fish. This beautiful morning, this country setting, uh, but don't be fooled. I am actually in downtown Tuscaloosa, Alabama. At least on the edge of downtown. This is the river walk. Uh, it is really beautiful. Downtown is right there and just past that is the University of Alabama. The Crimson Tide, but we'll talk about that later. Tuscaloosa. 2021 population is 100,618. They just crossed the 100,000 threshold. They seem to be pretty excited about that here. Makes it a genuine small city. Uh, metro population is 268,674. So, uh, I mean, it's not tiny. It is a college town, make no mistake. University of Alabama is by far the number one employer. The economic engine of the town, but there are other, other things here. Mercedes-Benz has a huge factory. Uh, I believe that is the second biggest employer. I'd show you more downtown, but the sun is sun's in the wrong place. So we'll head over there. Tell you a couple more things though. Um, Tuscaloosa was named after a Native American chief, uh, chief. I don't think that's a surprise. That sounds like an Indian name, doesn't it? Tuscaloosa. Tuscaloosa. Pretty cool. Anyway, some of the other employers, of course, uh, healthcare, education, are all in the top ten. They also have a Michelin BF Goodrich factory here. That is in the top 10. So there is some stuff going on here besides the university. But uh, let's not kid ourselves. And this pains me as a lifelong Oklahoma Sooner fan to say this. But uh, the Crimson Tide over the past, what, 20 years have been the most successful college football team in the country. And uh, this is the United States. College football is big, very big. So, uh, should I say it? God, I don't want to. All right, roll tide. Did you know that Tuscaloosa was the original capital of Alabama? Yeah, that's right. Between the years of 1826 and 1846, Tuscaloosa was the capital city for the great state of Alabama. Sadly, the original capital building, you're looking at it, has not survived the years. Uh, these are the ruins caught on fire. And of course, the capital is now in Montgomery, in the middle of the state, which is usually what states do. Puts the capital in the middle. Not always, but usually. Um, yeah, you can see, hey, look there, see the kind of suit and black marks there? Uh, this is what's left. After the fire burned it down, it's a damn shame, isn't it? Big uh, Tuscaloosa water tower there. In the distance, anyway, yeah, I'll just give you a quick look here. I'll tell you a little bit more about the city as I do this. Um, let's see. Oh, I was just looking at all this really cool uh, stonework, I guess you would call that. Anyway, um, 
Median household income is 57,500. Uh, the average out of the median age here is 30 years old. And poverty is 14.7. So those are all pretty good numbers for a city this size. Uh, the city looks prosperous. We've driven around it some. It's real nice. Anyway, well, there it is. The original Capitol building. Now downtown is this direction, just a couple blocks. So uh, why don't I head that way now and give you a look. Well, I am heading into downtown. Beautiful downtown Tuscaloosa. Uh, as I show it to you, I'll talk a little bit more about the town. I was on the Reddit boards for the city. You can always get some interesting uh, comments from the locals on Reddit. For the most part, uh, everybody loves it here. Uh, it is a young town and uh, a lot of kids. I was looking at the crime rate. Violent crime rate's pretty low. Uh, high property crime, but come on. That's what you get when you got a bunch of 18 to 22 year olds all together in one place. Um, one person on Reddit said uh, that it is a drinking town with a football problem. I would say that's depends on who you are, I guess. A lot of rabid Crimson Tide fans, that's for sure. Yeah, lady, you don't have to sit there at the green light. Uh, so I'm driving onto the main street here. It's a beautiful downtown, by the way. Real nice. Anyway, um, another person says that it has uh, southern charm, but a strip mall personality or aesthetic. Uh, that's a little unfair. <laughs> Pretty much every city you go, once you get out of the beautiful downtown, like the one I'm showing you right now, you're getting into strip malls and Walmarts, Taco Bells, McDonald's, all that uninteresting stuff. That's why you don't see those places in my video, or my videos, because uh, they're not interesting. You can see that anywhere, but downtowns are unique to every city. That's why I go there. Additionally, the neighborhoods, the houses near downtown, same thing. It's not a huge downtown, though. I've kind of just driven right through it. Uh, I am heading directly to the University of Alabama. Should we go ahead and drive past? Yeah, why not? I'll show it to you guys. You know, I want you to feel like you've been here in Tuscaloosa. That's the idea. So, uh, at least the downtown area. You know, I don't want you to feel like you've been on the outer cities at that Walmart next to that, you know. TGI Fridays, but I want you to feel like you've been downtown. That's the whole idea of my videos. So, uh, that's what I'm doing. Driving into downtown, showed you the main street, and hey, why not see the university? It's right next to downtown. I've already driven through it a couple times, and oh boy, is it ever beautiful. Most universities are, though, let's be fair. Anyway, pretty much driving on the campus right now. I should be driving, uh, what is it, uh, right by their huge stadium, uh, the Bryant Denny Stadium, where they play their football. Should be seeing that on the right here pretty quick. And uh, yeah, the university entrance should be right up here. So I'm going to give you a quick look at all that. How about that? As you watch this, you can say to yourself, hey, it's just like driving through downtown Tuscaloosa to the university. Because that's what's going on. That's what I'm doing for you. That's what I do. Now, I see all these kind of dive bars places. That's where all the kids like to party. But don't be fooled. Everything here is uh, new and beautiful. All right, so uh, yeah, hitting the campus right now. 
should be seeing the main entrance here in a second. I'll show you that. Now you can feel like uh, you've been here. Now there's the stadium. Now I've got the uh, sun in the wrong direction there, so I'll go on the other side. But um, yeah, here's uh, the university. Beautiful grand buildings. Very southern genteel. I mean, the university looks very much what you would expect from a university in the deep south, especially a prosperous university. Because there's one thing about college football, especially being successful in college football, it brings in a ton of dough for the university. That's why universities try so hard to have successful football teams, because that makes them a lot of money. All right, so here I go. Yeah, I think this is the main entrance. Put the camera here so you can see. Yeah, there it is. The University of Alabama. There you go. Anyway, I'm going to swing around over here and get you a look at that stadium because it's, uh, it's pretty awesome. All right, I'm a street over. Some more of the university here. Hey, look at this architecture, huh? Woo! Beautiful. Anyway, I'm driving up to the stadium. It's right there, kind of through the trees right now. It's the Bryant Denny Stadium. Hmm. I'm gonna come in from a different direction and uh, give you a give you a look at it from a different angle. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that. All right, I'm coming in from a, a better angle. I've got the sun behind me. Always important to have the sun in the right place because it's lighting the scene for you. Now here's the stadium. It's a beauty. I love impressive structures, you guys know that. So uh, yeah, I love seeing stuff like this. Uh, the, stadium, the stadium seats 100,077 people. Well, there it is and then straight down the street here is the main campus so there you go I'm going to take a look at a few other things here so uh, let's do that now well I'm a couple blocks off the university looking at some of the student housing <laughs> not bad huh yeah this is a university flush with cash lots of money and as long as uh, the Crimson Tide is successful they're gonna keep having a lot of money they didn't make it this year though uh, today is actually the day that Georgia plays TCU now yeah, there's a stadium right there and a couple streets over I'm just kind of showing you the the neighborhood of the uh, town and the university. Anyway, yeah, TCU in Georgia tonight. Being a DFW resident, I'm going to have to uh, root for TCU. See what happens. By the time you watch this video, the game will be over. So you can comment accordingly. Anyway, yeah, just <laughs> look at all this housing. I mean, everything's just so nice here. Well, you guys want to check out some houses? <laughs> How about these houses? Now, these are uh, fraternity and sorority houses. I mean, whoa! <laughs> I went to the uh, University of Utah. No, I didn't. I went to Utah State University. What am I thinking? I really am getting old. I can't even remember where I went to college. Uh, but anyway, nothing so grand there, let me tell you. Nothing like this. Well, I mean, whoa! Uh, could you imagine being a college student and this being your housing? That is something. Uh, you, wow, you just see so much money here. Lots and lots and lots of college money. Hmm. 
Um, anyway, I am heading back in the direct uh, direction of downtown. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go there next. But uh, yeah, and this is Russell Hall. Not sure what that is. Somebody will have to say. Uh, that might be housing too, though. Hmm. Anyway, yeah. Uh, I'm driving and through the university again. Of course, it's winter, so there's no leaves on the trees, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, but um, you can kind of imagine in your head how beautiful this is with all these trees uh, in the summer. Must be pretty, pretty incredible how beautiful it would be. Uh, let's see, we can see the. Got a bunch of students out here. All right, well, uh, and then there's the stadium again. Giving an idea where we are. Well, I'm a couple blocks out of downtown. And, uh, you know, what can you say? More beautiful neighborhoods. Uh, it's just, uh, it's just a beautiful town. Now, I usually only have to find the cats on my country road travels, but whatever. Got a cat for this video, too. <laughs> but hey, don't hold me to that. I don't have to get a cat on all the city videos, all right? I'm in the West End District of Tuscaloosa. Look at that house. I had to stop and get a good picture of that little video of that. That is really unusual. Uh, this is supposed to be the uh, uh, if you will, the most dangerous roughest part of the city. The West End District. Uh, I'm not seeing it. <laughs> Looks okay to me. Uh, this is as bad as it gets. In Tuscaloosa, well, that's pretty impressive because uh, this is still a pretty nice neighborhood. So, awesome. All right, well, uh, we're going to look at a couple of historic buildings. This is the old tavern. Yeah, is that cool? Got wifey here. Built in 1827. Uh, we would love to tour it. Today's Monday. Today's Monday, and it's closed on Mondays. <laughs> so that sucks. That sucks. So we're going to have to go to another place. <laughs> so we'll do that now. All right, another historical home. I can't hear you over there. Hud. It's the Jemison home. Yeah, 26 rooms. 26 room Italian villa style mansion. Built in 1862. What's fretwork? <laughs> Distinguished by its octagonal cupola. Is that how you say it? Cupola? Either way, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, but what exactly is fretwork? I guess I could try to, I could kind of figure it out, but I've never seen that. Well, before. fretwork is, yeah, it's usually that wood, like you see in, in the. Is that the decorative parts, right? Yeah, here? the decorative parts. It's a beautiful house. We were going to tour it. But of course it's Monday. But it's Monday. It's closed on Monday. Turns out Monday's not a good day to tour places in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. He was part of the Succession Convention. Huh? Oh, he voted against Succession. Okay. Yeah. So uh, we're just going to take a look at the outside, I guess. It's beautiful. Uh, the Italianate style. That's the architecture. Completed 1862. It's, uh, it's got ghosts. Uh, they have had some paranormal, paranormal activity here, they say. Uh, this house was the first house built in the area with running water and toilets that flushed. Yeah, first house with flushing toilets in this area. Mid-1800s, or 1860s. Yeah, it had indoor gas lighting too. First place to have that. So uh, it's a beauty. Love to see the inside. He helped establish 
the Alabama Insane Hospital. That's what they called it. Yeah. Alabama Insane Hospital. That's right. The Alabama Alabama Hospital for the Insane. Yeah, that's here too, but it's being renovated. Okay, I guess we can walk up there. All right. Well, you can walk up to it. So, uh, you, you see anything in there? Yeah, you see the entryway is really, it's decorated pretty, very old fashioned. Well, here, let me, uh, let me put the camera on there and see if I can. Uh, it's, uh, out of focus. <laughs> and there it goes. All right, well, at least I got a little bit of look inside. Can you see it well on the camera? Kind of. I, I thought it would be too dark. Yeah, you can kind of see something. So do you feel like a Southern Belle? I do, but I don't believe they wore jeans back then. Uh, they did wear jeans back then. Pretty sure. The Southern Bells did not wear jeans. They didn't. Only the guys on the farm. Um, do you think this bench has been here since 1862? I don't know. I doubt it. Well, all right. I guess we're going to go have a late lunch. We're not going to get to tour this place. Boo. I did too. We have arrived at the restaurant we're going to eat at, Southern Ale House, a local place. We got to figure out how to get in there. Over here, honey. We like to uh, spend and help out the local economy. Uh, this is a local place, so let's go check it out. Oh. Yeah, let's go set in the bar, right? Uh -huh. Like we always do. And there it is, right there. Let's go see. Well, we're at a place called Ale House, which means draft beer to me. Uh, let's see. I tried to order. They have something called Coconut Chocolate Bar Stout. That sounded really good, but they're out. So then, okay, just give me the uh, just give me the uh, Bourbon Barrel Stout. They're out of that. Boo. So Jack Daniels, it is the old fallback. So we're having an appetizer. Prime rib, what are they called? I think they're just called prime rib rolls. Prime rib rolls, yeah. They look good, huh? Mm -hmm. What, you're not going to dip it in the sauce? You know I don't do ranch. Oh, is it ranch? Well, what is it? Some, is it good? Some kind of ranch. Yeah, it's good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. All right. I think it has like a horseradish sauce on it or something. That's what it looks like, it's a horseradish sauce. Mm -hmm. Okay. good. Well, we got it extra because we're going to snack on it later. Mm -hmm. But we don't eat now. But anyway, looks good. Okay, our late lunch is here. I'm having a bacon wrapped meatloaf. Sounds different, so I'm going to try it. With mashed potatoes and gravy and chipotle collard greens. I love collard greens. I haven't had them in a long time. Mine's called black and blue, but I took off the blue because the blue stood for blue yeah, cheese. Yeah, you're crazy. Blue cheese is impossible. So you have a yeah. steak salad. I have a steak salad. Medium rare. Medium rare. Yes. Right. Well, that looks more like well, but that's medium rare, so that's good. Okay. Well, all right. All right. Let's uh, dig in. All right. So here's the review. The collard greens are fantastic. Get a little bite to them. The mashed potatoes are really good. Real thick. Good meatloaf. It's got a little bit of a bite to it. A little spice. Interesting. A big piece of bacon on the outside. How is your... My steak salad is very good. Uh, the steak is nice and tender. I don't know what cut they put on here, but I like it. It's a good cut. It's not like a crappy one. <laughs> okay. And uh, I like the idea of the sauteed onions and the homemade croutons are amazing. Cool. Yeah. So, uh, it's a good place. Mm -hmm. yeah. Highly recommend. Well, except for no chocolate stout. Except for no coconut chocolate bar stout. I knew it had a long ass name, but I got the important parts. I really wanted to try that. I, <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of bummed out. But anyway, everything else is good. All right, uh, that's going to be the end of... That guy needs a muffler. Oh, sound like a dirt bike. I know. <laughs> anyway, we'll try that again. Uh, that's going to be the end of this video. Uh, we're going to head to Eastern Alabama next. Uh-huh. And then on, well... Then we'll have Georgia on our minds. Georgia. So uh, be looking for those.